Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to export data from one of your database tables to a CSV file using Django. So before I get started doing this, it's going to be a quick video. I just want to tell you that I have this course called Django Database Essentials. It's a free course where I cover most of the things that you should know when you are working with uh, models and databases in Django. So if you want to join that course after the video, just go to prettyprinted.com slash Django database, and I'll put a link in the description below if you want to join. So to start, if you look down here at the bottom, this is the data in the database. So I basically have some member data and it has a first name, last name, email, and IP address. And I also have this view here that returns hello. So if we go here, we see that hello. And this is what I'm going to use to export the data. So it's pretty straightforward. The first thing I need to do is I need to create a response so instead of having the response here return hello, and just note that I'm importing HTTP response from Django.HTTP because I need to create a custom response to return CSV data. So I'll just move this up here and I'll comment this out momentarily and I'll make this uh, response. So response equals HTTP response. And instead of hello, I'm going to change the content type. So the content type is going to be text slash CSV because we're dealing with a CSV file. And because we're dealing with a CSV file, I'll need to import the module CSV. And using CSV, I will be able to write the data from the database. And speaking of the database, I need to import my uh, model as well. So from dot models import member. Okay, so with this response, this is actually an object that has a write method on it. And by having a write method on it, we can use the CSV writer from the CSV module to write the CSV data directly to the response. So normally you would write this to like a file or something, and then you can save the file to your file system. But with the response here, we can write directly to the response and then return this response to the user in their browser and they can view the CSV file there instead of saving it to like a, a file system. So to do this, I need to create this CSV writer. And I'll just call this writer equals CSV.writer. And I'll pass in that response here. And then I'll take the writer and I'll write a row. So write row. And what the row is going to be is just the header. So I want to pass in the values here. So first name, last name, email address. So first name, uh, last name, email and IP address. Okay, so that's basically just the header of the file. And then what I want to do is I want to loop over my member data and for each one I want to write it to the CSV file or the response through the CSV writer. So, so for member in uh, member objects and then I want to get all but I also want to get a value list. So this will just give me the uh, fields that I want without all the extra stuff that comes along with a model object. So I want uh, first name, first, not first, last, first name, uh, last name, email, and I want the IP address. And I think that's what I have here. Yep. And this should have a colon at the end. And I simply want to write this row. So writer dot write row. And I'll pass in the member. So once I have that, I have all the data that I want. So the last thing I need to do is I need to set the content disposition. So response uh, content disposition. So this just tells the browser what to do with the response. So we want the browser to treat this as an attachment. So we pass an attachment. Then we have a file name and then we can put the file name in quotes. So I'll call this members.csv. And then that's it for the disposition. And then we need to return a response. So let's give this a try. Go to export. This should actually be values list, plural. And let's try that again. Okay, so we see that this pops up for downloading the file. I can save it, or I'll just open it directly, and I'll use uh, Visual Studio Code for this. Open it, 
and then we see the CSV file that I downloaded here. And this has all the member data in my database, which is like a thousand rows. So pretty simple stuff. Really the most important thing you need to know is that you can pass in the response to the CSV writer and then write all your data and then make sure you get the content disposition right so you can actually uh, return that as a file that needs to be downloaded. So that's it for this video. And like I said at the beginning, if you want to check out my course, just go to prettyprinted.com slash Django database and you can join the course. It's a completely free course and I cover a bunch of things related to uh, working with the database and models in Django. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything I covered here, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.